Michał Wiatrowski, Centrum Papieru. Mamy przyjemność być gośćmi na stoisku Kanona. Chcemy pokazać Wam nowego IPF-a 6450. A w nowej maszynie zastosowano zupełnie nowe zbiorniki, bardziej pojemne. I jak widzicie, mieszczą się w tym miejscu. Jest ich całkiem sporo. Są całkiem duże. Natomiast jakość wydruku możecie zobaczyć tutaj. W dalszym ciągu jesteśmy na stanowisku Kanona. Tym razem mamy przyjemność pokazać Wam po raz pierwszy IPF-a 8400, następcę IPF-a 8300. A jak dowiedzieliśmy się od obsługi stanowiska, drukarka jest znacznie szybsza od poprzedniego modelu. Posiada też urządzenie pomiarowe. Spodziewam się, że do mierzenia koloru, natomiast tego wszystkiego musimy się jeszcze dowiedzieć od obsługi. Udało znaleźć nam się specjalistę od wielkiego formatu w Canonie, który powie nam, jakie nowe funkcje ma Canon 8400 i jego mniejsza wersja. Hello, my name is Michael, Centrum Papieru. Hello, my name is Gaston Lamarck, I'm from uh, Canon Europe. Can you tell us something new about the new large and a bit smaller large format printer? Well, we have on this uh, stand three or two new printers. Uh, we have the 6450, uh, one of which has a spectrometer. And uh, we have the 8400 um, that uh, is 44 inches in width. Um, all three de devices have a, has a new multi-sensor which allows uh, more accurate calibration and more consistent color. Uh, on the 6450, um, it has a built-in spectrometer. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to um, uh, create calibration targets for your media. ICC profiles or just adjust targets? It can uh, create, well, it doesn't, cre it, it, It can create ICC profiles, but it, it, it uses the spectrometer to actually measure the data, and you can export that data into, say, a, a third-party software like X-Rite. Um, if you have a software rip, what you can do is you can automate your color management from start to finish by using the spectrometer. Um, so uh, companies like EFI, PostaJet, um, uh, CGS, Uh, Onyx, they can connect to these devices, in particular the 6450, allows you to do proofing, for example, from start to finish. Uh, are there new inks uh, for uh, new devices? Yes, well, there's the, the, the inks that we've got here are based on the existing 63 and 8300 series. The only difference is, is that on the uh, 6400 series, you can actually go up to 300 millimeters in size. Okay, I heard that it's faster than the old one. It is faster. Um, bas uh, with that basically, you had a high pass, highest pass mode, which is 32 pass. What uh, Canon Inc. have done is they've now introduced the 16 pass mode, which means that you can get the same quality as uh, a, a 32 pass mode printing. Uh, is this uh, calibration, color calibration device, it's in the 8402, yes? The, well, the, the spectrometer, no. The, the new multi-sensor, yes. So the new the multi-sensors that are in these printers allows you to do much better uh, calibration. The spectrometer, the spectrometer is used specifically for creating what we call calibration targets. So that if you have a custom media, you're able to build a calibration target within that media so that you, it actually measures much more accurate color. Okay, uh, can you tell us something about the print heads? Do you have a new print head or the old one? The print head is based on the existing PFO5 print head. Okay, thank you very much.